So, bout number four, we've got Ibra Hussein fighting out of Blackburn Predators versus Greg Whiston from Alpha Males, two solid gyms there. Yeah, interesting class this one, both, both quite closely related, you know, from the same area. So, yeah. uh, maybe a little bit of rivalry here. That's it, obviously Rob Freeman, good training oh. partner of Declan Williams, you know, through the Predators days and, uh, Definitely. oh, straight into a guillotine. He's looking to connect his grip here, maybe get his hips out a little bit, could he have that? Ibri looks in a bit of trouble here. Maybe, you know, if he stacks up. He does, up, yeah. I think he just needs to extend those hips out a bit more. And stack up, get his head on the mat, and he'll, he should be able to, you know, fight this one out. Cross facing there. He's working out, but he's just looking to tighten up again. See, so he's letting go of his arm as he's, as he's uh, cross facing him. He's letting go of that arm. He's yeah. out now. And he's out. Yeah, he's out of that. So a good escape there. Lovely stuff. And straight away looking for a, a triangle. He's got his leg up. But he's, uh, he's, he's recognised that and come out to the side. Push that leg flat. Ibby's, Ibby's good on the floor. You know, I've rolled with him a couple of times. You know, he, is, he, mm. is, he has got a good game on the floor. So let's see what he can do here from top position. Yeah, he's keeping very tight there. Not giving him an inch. He's pushing that shoulder in tight. He's just waiting to see if Greg's going to give him anything. I think he's looking to maybe walk that hip up, trap that arm. Yeah, you're right. He's moving around. Good solid cross face there though, he's, he's, he's not really giving him much movement. Ah, he's looking for the north-south now. Yeah. Yeah, he's got the right arm in tight and he's dropping his weight down now. Uh, he's done well there. Turned out that well. well. Obviously Declan Williams, Declan the dynamite kid uh, in uh, <laughs> his corner. He should, uh, should be doing pretty well there. Yeah, I've got Declan. Declan's fighting on um, the MMA Expo actually in three weeks time. What weight's he fighting at? Um, Mid midget weight. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> You've got to make some some comments about him for flicking your ear on the way past. I, know, I didn't appreciate that at all. So I'm sure Declan, you'll get him back for that. If, if you're listening, Declan. 
You and me, Tuesday, sparring class. 66 he's fighting at, yeah. If he's got mount here. Oh, arm triangle set up here, maybe. Yeah, he's pushing that shoulder forward now, putting some pressure on. Winston, you know, he, he's seen that coming and he's, he's brought his arm in, so he's done well there to defend. Good, good instincts. Yeah. Definitely a tactical battle, this one. Both fighters are kind of just waiting for something to... for, for a mistake to happen to capitalise on. Not rushing into anything. Oh, he's bridging well there. He's... Almost gave his back, but did well there to get top position. Nice reversal. Now in guard, know. yeah. What, what can he do from top, though? He's got to open the guard, lots of pass. It's late in the round, though, so, you know, he's left that a little bit too late. Stacking up now, but the whistle's going to go. Keep it low, Greg. So, very back and forth first round, that. What way would you uh, go with that one, Avi? Um, I would have to say it's Ibis. He, he, he dominated the top position. He, you know, got a couple of sub attempts in there. And uh, I think Worcester for me was defend defending a lot really well, but you know, not enough to win the round. Yeah. Tricky one there. I think that'll be a split decision on that round. I could have gone either way, you know, because I mean, it'd be right at the start of the round, he, he was in a guillotine. He was, you know, he's had a few submission attempts on him as well. It's. Mm, glad I'm not a judge on that one. That's it. That's why we're commentating, Darren. <laughs> Dean Weir in charge of the action here. Seconds yeah. out. Uf UFC Dean Weir now. It Working is. Working on a few of the shows now, isn't he? It is. Yeah, he's a top referee, Dean. Really, really nice guy as well. Got uh, the, the FCC flyweight champion, Mike Berry. Uh, over there, opposite. I don't think you see me. We'll stop talking Did really well the other night, didn't he? It was a fantastic fight, that one there. Anyway, back to this fight. Ibby's just gone in for the single there, but sprawled out from uh, Whiston. Whiston. He's holding on to that single really tight. He's still Maybe keeping it, yeah. Whiston's just locking onto the body, trying to get his leg away. Back on his feet. His switched leg. I hope he... Uh, I hope uh, Whiston doesn't uh, burn himself out holding on, trying to get it to... The Trying to get back to his feet, he should maybe, you know, accept that he's on the floor. Maybe look to, to get guard and uh, work for a couple of submissions or sweeps. Determined to get this takedown, though he's not. He's not letting go of that leg. He's got him down twice now, and Winston's got back up. Few times, but I think he's got him floored now. He's pinning his weight down, circling out to side control. He's just looking to get rid of that leg before he drops his weight. I think. Really technical ground battle this one, isn't it? Definitely. Definitely, yeah. Not he knows his on. head's caught there, though, so he's just avoiding guard at the moment, and he's done so really well there. Now he's negated that danger. I think maybe he's looking for that arm triangle again. He's climbing, he's climbing his head up. Yeah, he's like like holding the back arm. of the tricep, wasn't he? There, like yeah. he was going to push it across. So, oh, Whiston looking to escape there, but Ibby had his, uh, had it covered. Yeah, he's shown really good top control here. He's, um, you know, everything's just basic, nothing too flash. Yeah. You know, just solid cross face, solid underhook. Ibby just wearing him down now, isn't he? Just squeezing on, putting pressure on. Oh, and a nice reversal there, though. Exactly the same bridge Lovely. he caught with before. Yeah. He's ended up in bottom half guard here. Let's see what he can pull off from here. And Winston might be looking to trap that arm, maybe look for a Kimura or Americana now. But he's yeah. stuck in half guard, so it might be tough to finish. Yeah, maybe he's using that. Interesting, he's going for like a Nogi oh. Ezekiel choke here. He, I don't think that's tight. He's either going for the neck crank or the Ezekiel choke. Yeah, he, he kind of closed his fist for a minute then, didn't he? And then, and then kind of went into a scissor choke. Yeah, both, both really difficult to get. Oh, he's swinging for an arm bar. That was brilliant hip, hip movement. Lovely there, movement there, yeah. He's still in danger there. He's got his hands together, but Ibby's looking to break that grip. What he needs to do now is he needs to obviously 
get his uh, get his weight over onto him so he can't he can't oh, move. Oh, and he's got ten seconds to do it. That was the <laughs> ten second clacker. Declan Williams there shouting, uh, "Just stay safe." And he's managed to ride that one out. So a good round there for Ibby. First round very close. I'd have to give that second round to Ibby though. Wiston looking very uh, tired at the end of that round. No doubt about it. It's a tough, tough fight. Any anything that involves any kind of you know wrestling for a longer period of time. You yeah, know. just just spending that, that time on the bottom with someone's weight bearing down on you, so you can't get oxygen. It, it takes its toll, doesn't it? And, and I think he's he's got a good 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 game plan there, Ibby. I hate those kind of fights, you know, where it's a clinch war and you end up like you end up uh, just like battling for you know the whole round, just holding on. There's yeah. nothing worse. Got a lot of support here. Both these fighters have. Yeah, a lot of fans. A lot of fans behind these two guys. It's really packed out. This uh, this uh, bowl set, bowl ex exhibition center. Absolutely buzzing atmosphere in here at the moment. So round three. Both working lung kicks. His little stomp there. He might have get, got himself in a guillotine again here, like he did in the first round. He has. Yeah, he's. Uh, now he's let go of that now, and a big slam there from Ibby. Good work there. He's inside control, he's got the head trap, but he's not really any danger there. As long as he can keep him from pulling guard, and he's got his head out now. He's into guard. Nice, nice Wiston, triangle, yeah, he was looking for the arm there, wasn't he? he was, uh... But uh, he, you know, obviously, wasn't that tight, so he's he's let uh, he left a lot of space for Ibi to, to get round there. Yeah, I think he was just waiting for the opportunity to pass, and uh... he's over his head there with his leg. I can't see from yeah. this angle. Yeah, he's trapped the head and the arm. It's almost like, like a reverse, reverse triangle. triangle. Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. Tough to finish though this. He's sat in a good position now with that head trap. Oh, he might have the Kimura He here. could take the arm there and, and I was going to say work the Kimura from top position. No, Ibby's uh, done well there to get out of that. Still, he's still got his head trapped in there though. He sat back on the head now, horrible position to be in that. Yeah, it's not nice. He maybe looks a bit throw a few big body shots here while the body's exposed. He's looking to get that Kimura though. He's making a frame there now to protect, protect himself. And almost rolled into him then. This could be on. This could be on. Looking for the arm now. He's isolating the arm. He's going to try and break his position. I think he's going to work for the Kimura. Yeah, I don't think he's got his on. hands together. No, he's uh, he's took that. He's uncrossed his legs now. He's just sat on his head now. Declan Williams, I think, is shouting for the the Kimura grip. Yeah, he's flattened him out now. He's no longer on his side, so he's working the body shots really well. Though he's, I mean, he's winning this round. What he's doing? This has been a real back and forth fight. Because obviously, the first round went to Ibby. Now the second round, this is a real, real dominant end to the second round. So, you know, I don't know, you know, I mean, it was a close one that first round. The second round definitely would be. Um, this round so far, I'd be giving to Wiston, but... Definitely. It, it could be in the first round, I think. That's the 10 second clacker again now. So, 10 seconds left. Um, you know, I think it's going to be up to the third round to see, you know, who's, who's going to win this fight. I wouldn't want to put money on this one. At this, stage, sure. yeah. at this stage, it's <laughs> even, in my eyes. Yeah. But an amazing comeback there from Wiston. I mean, he looked tired at the end of that second round, so what a performance in the third round there. Yeah, you know, that takes a lot of heart to do that, to get a beat down in the first round, and then obviously come back and put a beat down on the other guy in the yeah. second round. That's yeah. impressive. I think you might be right, though. I think could have gone Ibby's way. It might have been a little too late.
this for me so far has been the best fight. You know, obviously we've got a long way to go tonight. There's gonna some great fights on the card. We've got uh, Aaron McDonald versus Damian Max. Uh, we've got 19 fights. If they all go the distance like this, it's gonna be a long night, Avi. For a long night. <laughs> so I, I want overtime, me. <laughs> let's see how the judges scored this. And maybe got it, yeah. Maybe got it. I didn't hear that if that was a unanimous or split decision then, did you? Uh, I think it was unanimous. Great win there then. Cracking fight. 